Okay, so you're obviously going to need to understand um, something else about the whole nutri nu nutrients that are contained inside of superfoods, and I'm talking particularly about phytochemicals. Now, phytochemicals are actually plant chemicals, and they offer a variety of health benefits, right? And all of our plant-based superfoods are actually rich in phytochemicals, okay? But something you need to understand is that there are obviously several different types of phytochemicals, but the main types are as follows. We have um, polyphenols, which are obviously a family of related photo pho um, phytochemicals that includes bioflavonoids, um, uh, tannins, and lignans as well. So bioflavonoids, for, ex flavonoids, for example, um, they're actually produced in plants, and they include some of the, the pigments that you do find um, in red, blue, purple, sometimes in black fruits as well, and um, vegetables and some legumes as well. Now these bioflavonoids like um, like quercetin, for example, they actually do help to try and reduce inflammation. Um, they help to also protect your heart whilst reducing your risk of some cancers. Like I mentioned earlier with regards to tannins, um, you can find tannins in red wine and in tea, okay, and they may help to keep your digestive system healthy. And we have lignans, okay, which are usually found in the cell walls of plants themselves and have hormone-like properties. Um, flax and soy are particularly healthy or particularly rich in these lignans and they may actually help to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Um, there are obviously more types that I haven't covered and I'm talking specifically about carotenoids. Now carotenoids are actually related to vitamin A and they are found in red yellow and I believe orange types of pigments, okay? Now examples include um, beta-carotene, um, lycopene um, and lutein as well. So the, car the, 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 the carotenoids in particular, they may actually help you with regards to um, keeping your vision as, as good as it can be. Um, they also make sure your immune system is as healthy as it should be, so it actually helps to boost your immune system, and they also help reducing your risk of cardiovascular disease and some cancers. And finally, we have um, phytos phytosterols, all right? Now, I don't really know much about them in particular, but I do know that they are a plant equivalent of cholesterol, okay? Now, unlike the cholesterol that we would usually find in animal products and that are usually bad for you, um, phy phytosterols are actually very, very, very good for you. And some phytos phytosterols, um, such as beta cytosterol, um, helps to actually reduce the symptoms of an enlarged prostate. So that's actually very good for men. Okay, so um, and are effective in obviously helping keep your cholesterol um, levels in at a good level, making sure that they don't that they're not going too high, um, and that you're obviously remaining as healthy as you can be. But there is one very important fact I just want to mention, and that's the fact that not every superfood is created the same. And not all superfoods or all vegetables actually have the same amount of phytochemicals that your body requires on a daily basis. So you obviously, you're going to need to make sure that you are eating a variety of superfoods to make sure that you are getting all of those, um, all of the different variety of phytochemicals.